Hi folks, it's good to be with you and uh, we're talking about the Book of Acts and the historical accuracy of the Book of Acts. We're in Hyde Park, it's very busy today. There's lots of people, if I just show you, there's lots of people all over the place. So, there are lots of people all over the place. But I want to talk about the historical accuracy of the book of Acts. Now, one of the arguments against the book of Acts is that the speeches are not accurately reported. That they're just made up by Luke. And I want to write, read to you Thucydides, the chronicler of the Peloponnesian War, commentating on his own historical methodology in his words. I think my view sounder than others based simply on the unattested statements and romantic tales of earliest writers. Whether in verse or prose, I know that we are all inclined to think a war in which we are engaged must be the greatest, but I am convinced that the history of the events of this one will show I am right about its magnitude. I have tried to relate these events as accurately as possible, both the speeches and the deeds done difficult as this was. My work is intended for posterity, not to be a bestseller of the moment. You can read this article, The Speeches, the speeches in Acts by Merrill Bland Dudley. The Speeches in Acts in Merrill Bland Dudley. Now, it's generally accepted in the academic world that many ancient historians often didn't report the speeches word for word, but they just gave a general gist and even made up uh, some of the speeches when they were reporting in history. Now, what I want to just say to, the, to you is this is actually more complex academically, because there were some uh, historians that felt they had to report speeches as accurately as possible. Now, not word for word, but they felt they had to get the accuracy of the speeches uh, properly. Secondly, uh, when historians look at the book of Acts and they say that Luke made up the speeches, they forget that Luke quotes Polybius in Gospel of Luke. He says, I, I, I come and give eyewitnesses, the same Greek work as Polybius. So Luke was wanting to be a careful historian, recording his words accurately. Also, thirdly, uh, scholars forget that Luke wrote Luke as well as Acts. And in, and in the Gospel of Luke, and there would be a, a dependence on oral tradition. And that oral tradition was very accurate. For example, you had to memorize your teacher and speak it back word for word. So my argument against academics is this, is that when Luke is doing the book of Acts, he, is, he has a plethora of oral tradition, not only that, that he was actually there often uh, on the journey with Paul. So it's a silly argument to say because ancient historians didn't quote the word for word in speeches that Luke wouldn't have done it because one he had strong oral tradition behind him and two he was there very often and three some of the speeches are before law courts and in the law courts they recorded word for word so Luke had access to those uh, documents so those are my three arguments against academics who say that Luke did not report the speeches word for word. But also, fourthly, all historians edit the material. And in the Gospel of Luke, he edits the material so the Gospel of uh, the Book of Acts, sorry, uh, Luke edits the material so the Book of Acts can flow in a proper way. So that's why some of the speeches are cut down. Luke has just given us a snippet of what was actually said at the time. So I hope that's helped to you to understand that we can look at the book of Acts and know that it's accurate, it is reporting of the speeches. God bless you.